Chapter 4, Mishnah 7. The Mishnah discusses whether redeeming Meister Shani requires a verbal de declaration. If someone redeems produce of Meister Shani by setting aside coins that correspond to its value, but he did not call the coins the redemption money of Meister Shani by name, that is, he did not declare when he set aside the coins, this is the redemption for this Meister Shani produce. Rabbi Yossi says it is enough that he set aside the coins and the Meister Shani is redeemed. But Rabbi Yehuda says he must specify verbally that the coins are the redemption money for the Meister Shani produce. And if he did not, the redemption does not take effect. Rabbi Yossi and Rabbi Yehuda have the same dispute with regard to divorce and marriage. If someone was talking with a woman about the subject of her divorce from him or her marriage to him, so that it was clear that he meant to divorce her in the case of his wife or to marry her in the case of an unmarried woman, and he immediately handed her get to her in the case of his wife, or he handed her something that could affect marriage, but he did not specify verbally that this is your get or you are hereby betrothed to me, Rabbi Yossi says it is enough that he handed it to her silently, and the divorce or betrothal is valid. But Rabbi Huda says he must specify verbally that he wants this act to affect a divorce or betrothal, and if he did not, it is not valid.